हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस यूरिनरी ट्रैक इन्फेक्शन यूरिनरी ट्रैक इन्फेक्शन इज अ कॉमन क्लिनिकल प्रेजेंटेशन इन ओपीडी वी विल डिस्कस कि व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ यूटीआईज एंड देयर मैनेजमेंट बिफोर दैट इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन कि दिस इज ओनली फॉर मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल लाइक जनरल प्रैक्टिशनर फिजिशियंस interns medicine residents uh, this video uh, should not be considered as prescription or followed by non medical individuals in case any person has uh, symptoms of urine infections they should consult their doctor for further management now starting with the uh, symptoms of urinary tract infection symptoms are dysuria increased frequency of urination and urgency these are the classical triad of uh, uh, cystitis now if this cystitis uh, is present in healthy non pregnant female this is the definition for a case of uncomplicated cystitis so the symptoms of uh, burning urination increased frequency or uh, urgency is cystitis <clears throat> so this is a case of a uncomplicated cystitis in healthy non pregnant female so what should uh, be done in this scenario in this scenario uh, we will go for the antibiotic treatment indeed uh, guideline says that uh, urine culture is not needed in these uh, individuals so we can straight away go for antibiotic uh, treatment antibiotic preferred antibiotic is uh, nitrofurantoin the dose will be 100 mg twice a daily for 5 to 7 days or we can give a single dose of phosphomycin phosphomycin come in sachet form so one sachet is sufficient and that should be dissolved in one full glass of water side effects side effects of nitrofurantoin include headache or maybe some breathlessness it can cause pleural effusions as well while phosphomycin leads to diarrhea episodes Uh, if these symptoms of uh, cystitis are present in all other patients example uh, present in males or uh, those having some structural ab abnormality of uh, urinary tract immunocompromised patients or patient with diabetes it will be considered as complicated cystitis in this case urine culture is uh, needed and uh, before the urine culture report is ready we can start with the empirical antibiotic because culture takes usually 48 hours so we can start with the fluoroquinolol ciprofloxacin 500 mg twice a day for 5 to 7 days will be started or uh, we can start a uh, once a daily dose of levofloxacin 750 mg same duration 5 to 7 days but depending on the culture report we have to change the antibiotic if these antibiotic are resistant now come to the symptoms of back pain uh, nausea vomiting fever if these are the symptoms uh, they are most likely suggestive of uh, pyelonephritis so uh, kidney parenchyma is affected uh, same definition if uh, it is present in healthy non pregnant female uh, it will be considered as uncomplicated pyelonephritis and in any case of pyelonephritis we should send urine culture uh, so before the urine culture report is ready we can start with empirical antibiotics with fluoroquinolol ciprofloxacin 500 mg twice a day for 7 days uh, levofloxacin uh, 750 mg once a day dose for 7 days but if symptoms are severe uh, we can start with the iv antibiotics iv antibiotic is uh, ceftriaxone 1 uh, 1 g twice a day for 7 days or we can give uh, piperacillin tazobactam 4.5 g 3 times a day for 7 days this is injectable therapy is for severe symptoms of the patient while uh, all other uh, patients having the symptoms of pyelonephritis will be considered as complicated pyelonephritis 
urine culture should be done in all the individuals and we can start with the empirical antibiotics uh, we can give meropenem 1 gram tds for 14 days or piperacillin tazobactam uh, 4.5 grams three times a day for 14 days so this should be uh, treated with the iv antibiotics complicated pyelonephritis now there is a term known as asymptomatic positive urine culture means there are no symptoms uh, of uh, urine infection but urine culture shows a bacteria more than 10 raised to a 5 colony forming units per ml of urine sample so this is known as asb that is asymptomatic bacteria bact bacteria so uh, if uh, it is present in pregnancy then it has to be treated so it will be treated with uh, uh, safe antibiotics in pregnancy like amoxicillin 500 mg 3 times a day or uh, oral cephalosporin uh, that we can give uh, for 5 to 7 days. So asymptomatic bacterial infection of the urine will be treated only in pregnancy while in all other patient absolutely there is no treatment which is needed for asymptomatic cases uh, this is the um, uh, summary of uh, the urinary tract infection their definition and how to approach in case you have any questions or any doubt you can put in the comment section thank you